My name is Adan al -Hajuj. I am a Palestinian Bedouin living in Al Naqab. I decided to take a gap year uh, and volunteer in my community, give back to the community that made me the woman I am today. I'm doing this by first raising awareness of what is going on here, speaking up about the issues that the Bedouin community is facing, and also spending a lot of my time volunteering with children. What's the story? The story is that the Israeli government is confiscating land from its indigenous citizens who are the Bedouin community. This all started when Al-Turshan, uh, the people living in Sa'wa, stood up for their right to protest against the confiscation of their land. Sa'wa is a recognized village, yet they haven't had uh, funding from the government to build a playground for the children to play in, to build and renovate schools. They haven't had anything from the government. The Bedouin community uh, in Naqab stood up in solidarity with them, protested with them, and we have been doing this for the past week non-stop, and we will not stop doing it. The plan of the Israeli government has been the same since 1948. It has been the same since the Palestinian Nakba, and it will continue being the same unless we stop it. All Bedouins in the Naqab are treated like second-class citizens, in Israel. On paper, we have the same rights and we have the same everything as its Jewish citizens, but realistically, we get treated with extreme racism and discrimination and violence, physical and verbal, on a daily basis. The biggest issue for me and for all Bedouins in Al Naqab is the land. We, the Bedouins, make up 30% of the people living in Al Naqab, yet we live on 3% of the land. And this 3% is continuously becoming smaller and smaller as the Israeli government is trying to confiscate more and more of this land. We have generations of history and stories on this land that cannot be made up. We have ownership over this land that is not being recognized, and that's what we want. We want recognition over our land, recognition over Al Naqab for its indigenous owners, the Bedouins. This week was a roller coaster with many highs and many lows. At my lows, I felt uh, devastated and defeated. Uh, this was when I saw our elderly get shot uh, by rubber bullets, our children crying uh, and having trauma once they see their fathers, their siblings, their sisters, their mothers getting arrested by the Israeli uh, government and police. And at the same time, I feel extreme joy and extreme pride towards my community because for the first time in a long time, we have stood up in solidarity for the fight for our land, for our ownership. And we have done this hand in hand and we have stayed resistance despite the violence we, and backlash we are facing. I'm proud to say we are going to continue this resistance until our land is ours.